Good morning, Glug. Today I've got a couple of conference calls. First is in about 15 minutes, Mike, are you gonna join me that one? This is with Zach. I can, I think. We got today and tomorrow to get through. We have Thanksgiving storage coming through. A lot of the college kids are gonna be gone the entire week next week. We are giving away a scooter with the University of Florida Athletic Association at the basketball game tonight, right? I hope we can go. We'll, we'll see. We're going to try to work some magic to see if maybe we can get the camera in there. They're doing, like, help, you know, again, the helmet push, man. I know we're trying to put more helmets on students' heads, and, and that's one of the reasons why they're doing this scooter giveaway. So, um, Matt, shout out to my, my university. I love you, UF. You're the best. Anything else going on? That's a pretty good summary for, last, for the last few days. First vlog of this week because we've done some really great editing. 68 was fire, <laughs> particularly because of Lee and the updog. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch episode 68. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Where my negotiation room comes in as a dealer is that like we have, we have proven results, right? Like we, we sell scooters. And I have a small, I have a small, I have a small showroom, so I have to constantly. I look, I don't, I don't look at it as like, let me get as many scooters in here as I possibly can. I look at it as which scooters sell, which scooters give me the most profit margin, and and which real estate am, am I willing to give that scooter? Right. Right. Because I I can only fit so many scooters in my dealership, so like I look at my dealership as real estate, like. Do you want to be on that real estate, <laughs> or do you not want to be on that real estate? Well, I, mean, um, you know, I mean, if you're asking right now, clearly we do. No, but no, no, I mean, like, no. Of course, dude. I'm not like. Yeah. I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying how I have had to really evaluate a lot of these decisions because, and you, and you might know this. Like, we don't carry every single Wolf scooter that there is. Right. We don't carry every model of Bentelli scooter that there is. Like, we we look at at which scooters, you know, what they cost us, where the profit margin is, which ones that we feel are going to be the best for the University of Florida campus, which ones students gravitate to, which, you know, which ones we know we can sell a lot of and which ones make us the most money and, and all of it. So, so yeah. I'm constantly trying to pick the, the best units from, from the distributors that we represent and then, and then, you know, doing everything that I can to make sure that we're delivering for, for you guys because we want, you know, we want to continue to grow and build a relationship with you. I think, I think it's phenomenal, phenomenal looking back to 2012 when I was first having my conversations with Genuine and, and making promises saying, hey, like, give us, give us the 50cc units. We'll deliver twice as many sales on this product than, than our competition down the street. And, yeah. you know, and we delivered and it's just continued to grow year after year after year. And if we're not number one this year, I'm going to come up there and punch you in the face personally. <laughs> well, I'm not worried about that. <laughs> <laughs> what, me that. punching you in the face? <laughs> why? Are you good at self-defense? What's that? I said, why? Are you good at self-defense? What's that? Oh, no. no. <laughs> I, I, think, I, think there's, I think you got a pretty strong lot now. So, you know. <laughs> cool, man. Well, uh, like, we'll be in touch soon. Okay, sounds great. All right, later, man. Thanks, Thanks guys. guys. All right, bye. All right, take care. He wants bounce balls. He wants big, what huge, to like, to plush toys. Oh he wants blow-up, blow like, air, you know, musical instruments. <laughs> Gator things. And yeah, they have all sorts of stuff. Okay. SpongeBob. Like yeah. He said, cool sh <laughs> yeah, Gator. it's gotta be cool stuff. Ooh, I like the skateboards. We could probably get some spasm skateboards, like all decked oh, out. Yeah. I didn't think about. Do you need me to talk <laughs> to you about exactly this? What I said. Do you need me to talk to you about this? This is a very big project, and I think, and if I'm being honest, I think Angela's taking it too lightly. Okay. So, so are, are you, are you, are you gonna execute for? Her? 
That's what we're doing. He wants us all up by January. January? Do we need to clearly discuss the, the mission here? Okay. This is, this is our Starbucks stars. This is our version of a punch card. This is, it's, it's customer loyalty. So when they come back, so they're gonna, you're gonna bring your scooter in for service. And when you spend X amount of dollars with us, you're going to receive X number of tickets or tokens, whatever you find, or electronic card, whatever. The electronic card would be kind of cool, but that might cost some money. You got me? Gotcha. So when you keep coming back, you keep you can either spend your tickets, right? Mm -hmm. Or you can continue to save them. So when you come back again, you build, save more, you save more, you save more, right? Mm -hmm. And then you can buy something on the prize wall with your tickets. Cool, right? Very cool. So it's just our version of a customer loyalty program. Okay. You hate it. I don't hate it. You're going to execute to the most full potential ever, right? So what's your plan? Yes. Well, um, I need to go look at the wall. <laughs> she can go look at the wall. And then research. I want the wall. Build. And if you do like right behind the counter mm -hmm. with the, so you're obviously gonna wanna put the most like big prizes at the top, right? Like yeah. 10,000 tickets or whatever it is. We, we need to come up with a pricing structure that makes sense. But like, you know how we have the balloons in the prep room? Mm -hmm. Those little containers that like hang up on the slat wall? Right. Those would be good, right? For the little them. the little things. Yeah, yeah. I found those. So but wait, you are found you changing them? the yeah. desk? The Everything desk. behind the desk. Everything oh, behind. behind it. Oh, so it's not like you're looking. No, that uh, really. You could put some stuff in front of the desk too, though, like where those metal shelves are right now. You can, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you want to, you can for sure. Like, I honestly think we should price everything. Like, I think a scooter should be one million tickets. Hmm. Cause it'd be, oh, it'd be like interest? when you're, when you're, think about this, if it's August and you walk into the store and you see all these signs that say, you know, 1999 or 1 million tickets, people are going to be like, what are tickets? Yeah. And then it creates a whole conversation that we get yeah. to have with customers. That's fun. It's like, oh, well, let me show you our service department. Mm -hmm. When you come in for service, you come in and people are going to be like, oh my God, that's so cool. That's the neatest thing I've ever seen. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. You're right. I'm a genius. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I need you to come through. Maybe a prize is a TV. Hey, maybe. Maybe a prize maybe is a Nintendo 64. <laughs> maybe a prize is, I don't know, like whatever, dude. Make it cool. <laughs> can you do this for me? Carly and Kristen, can you tell them what the bride's name is? Because the bride's going to be the only thing I'm focused on for the okay. next because she's going to have to text them today. I'm super it's nervous. I'm super nervous. It's going to be weak. Okay. See you Monday. Bye. Yeah, so now you're going to take three days <laughs> off. We got this big project to accomplish. <laughs> Yep. I'm sorry, I have some actual projects too. Well, it's... Actual projects? Like this yeah. isn't an actual project? Well, good news, Monday, yeah, it's fine. my construction documents are due, so then I'm oh, all whatever, yours. Whatever. Oh my god. Have faith in me. Bye. I'm scared as hell right now. <laughs> Let me show you something that okay. a lot of right, business maybe. owners don't know. Yet, I'm but this is a recent update with Google. Um, so if I go on here and I Google Gainesville scooters, for example, so it brings up it brings up the map, right? And you can see the different dealerships, right? So then if you click New Scooters for Less, see right here it has a message button mm -hmm. you click that message button okay it'll basically it opens it up in your messages and stuff and you can actually send a text to the business mm. now that text is going directly to me so of course there's times where I'm not going to be able to respond right away or I might have to say hey I'm not at the dealership you know please call my team here 
but I think it's a huge competitive advantage for those who are using it because, like, I mean, I was laying in bed last night at 11 o'clock, couldn't sleep, I was doing stuff on my phone, and I got a message from a customer, you know, asking a service question at 11 o'clock at night. So I answered it, and I'm, I'm providing customer service to customers even though we're closed because they Googled, you know, they Googled our name, found us, and sent a message. So, and they also have a, um, Google has an app that allows you as the business owner to manage it a little bit better. So it's called Allo, A-L-L-O. And if you click it, it'll basically manage, it'll put all your messages in one place. So even here, I have a customer who messaged and was just asking about service. But it keeps all the messages in one place. So what number? What does that forward to your cell phone? Yeah. Or your email? Or what? it sets up. It sets up like a call, like a forwarding. Okay. So, so I mean, it's great because obviously, like I can understand as a business owner, you don't want all customers to have your personal cell phone number. I mean, you want to have those boundaries and have have that that work life balance. I'd probably never get anything done if customers are calling my cell phone when I'm at home at the time all the time with my family. You know. Um, but it's it's still a great way for customers to be able to to message the business. I think, you know, more and more people have gotten used to text messaging. You know, like actually, I think I would dare to say that most people prefer text messaging versus a phone call because you're not you're not interrupting somebody. You know, we value our time so much. We're not interrupting other people's time you know you could you could be doing something austin like i even if i was going to send you a message like or or if i needed to talk to you about something and it was something that's a phone conversation i'm more i'm more inclined now to say to send you a text right and say hey can i talk to you like is now a good time or you know do you have time for a five minute phone call like i'm probably going to send a text because i respect your time And, and i think we're that's happening more and more and more now that you know people are just used to using text as a way to correspond. Um, so so I think it's great because, one, I think I'm probably one of the few dealerships that's doing that. And when a customer messages, you know, it's it's another opportunity to get, get the business first and to respond to the customer and provide, you know, our number one core value, you know, the UCE, create and recreate the ultimate customer experience. It's another way for me to do that. If you're a customer and you message a business at 11 o'clock at night and they respond, that's pretty cool. So, um, so I just think if you're one of those businesses that can have the messaging forwarded to your phone or you're, you're the owner or the general manager or something and that's, a, that's something that you're willing to take on in order to get a competitive advantage, do it. It's easy to set up. I think you can just do it through the Google My Business if you just go through that that part and they they have a sec you know the whole left side has a menu and and one of them is messages and you can click messages and, and get right there so i don't know that was a recent update something that came out and i've noticed that i'm starting to use it more and more and more as customers start to discuss you know when they're doing that google search and they discover you know call now you know it has the hours and it says call now and now it has a little button that says messages I'm starting to get more and more messages, and it's giving me a leg up on my competition. Hey, Tom. Is there a name? Raleigh's here to see you. He's got our grungy t-shirt. Okay. Weird when somebody comes in wearing one of your shirts. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Yeah, this is awesome. You haven't, been, you haven't been in here before? I have not since you redid it. Oh, right on. Looks tight. Yeah, cool. You like it? Dude, nice shirt, man. I like the shirt. You look like a stud. <laughs> Bicycle is a competitor, and like I just feel like it's a different client. Like, you remember when we were I was on the back of the golf cart, and I said, Hey, we had two bicycles right behind us, and I said, Ever thought about trading that bicycle in for a scooter? No, I What? Why? I like biking. You like biking? Yeah. See, hot and sweaty and stuff? Makes me feel good about getting exercise. How about you? You ever thought about getting a scooter? No. Why? Yes. 
It's good exercise, but what about the days that it's like super hot and you're sweaty, you show up to class, drenched in sweat? So I look, I don't look at him it's as like competition. It's like viewing cars as competition. It's yeah. totally different. I guess, I guess in some like strange way, I guess you can see it that way, but I don't, I don't look at it that way. I don't think he does either, so. Yeah. Hello? Hi, is this calling? This is. Hi, this is Marilyn. Are you free hey. right now? Yeah, yeah, now's good. So what do you think has made new scooters for less successful? Um, that is an excellent question. I think our biggest, I think the biggest thing that has made us su successful over the years has just been our customer service. I mean, it's something that I definitely um, put a lot of time and effort into. You know, we, our number one core value is to create and recreate the, the UCE, which is the ultimate customer experience. So, um, you know, we, we try to compete on that. We try to compete on providing customer service and a customer experience that's just beyond what you're going to get anywhere else. Right. And then, so other smaller businesses, like just on West University, like Wolfgang, um, Dolish, and Caribbean Spikes, their just whole lot got bought out by a larger corp corporation, and there wasn't really anything they could do about it. Is that something that you fear will happen? Like someone will buy that spot where you are? You know, that is an excellent question. Um, and I can tell you that I did. I, I, as an entrepreneur, I could definitely see that that kind of thing was happening in the area. Um, and I knew that it was definitely the risk when we moved into our location, you know, at, we're essentially, it's, I mean, it's exactly 0.4 miles north of University and 13th Street, you know, so that corner, like we're, you know, we're 0.4 miles north on 13th and it's, it's definitely an area that's developing like crazy, right? So I knew, I knew that if we didn't do something, um, that, that that was definitely a possibility that you know this this building could be purchased by somebody it could you know this land could be developed it could this could all be torn down and turned into the next apartment complex um, so what I what I did was I made it my goal to, to buy the property and I actually accomplished that goal earlier this year so our building and the property you know we actually it's actually three different buildings three different properties technically and uh i bought i bought all three so now i'm the owner and so i don't have to i don't have to worry about you know somebody kicking us out right yeah and i think that's what some small businesses are struggling with now is that they're just renting these places and the people that own them are selling them right i mean it's it's definitely a risk right like if you want if you want the location, you're gonna you're gonna pay for the location. Um, you know the rent is obviously going to be higher the closer you get to the University of Florida. Um, you know that's just that's gonna come with the territory, and you have to you have to just analyze that risk. You know, I, when when we moved into this property, I certainly didn't own it. Um, I was leasing, and and I knew that hey, there's a chance that this could happen. I was willing to take that chance just based on my own instinct and. And, um, and I was really, I was really rolling the dice. I was taking the gamble on the location. I felt that for us to move from where we were, um, which was a little bit further out, we were about two miles away from campus. So to move from there, from that location to this location, uh, I was definitely, you know, taking that gamble, looking at the traffic, being like, hey, man, we're right on 13th street. This is going to be a good move for us. Um, and so I just took the risk. And then once we moved in, I just I just made it my goal, and I, I went after it really really hard um, to to buy this place, and luckily I was successful in doing so. So we don't have to worry about anybody kicking us out, and and uh, if anybody's gonna have the conversation of hey should we sell the property, you know it's me, and it's 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 gonna require my signature to make that happen, you know. Okay, so this is just more of a general question. Like, mm -hmm. do you think that big businesses coming to Gainesville is good, or do you think it's kind of taking away the culture of historic Gainesville? Uh, there's there's many ways to look at that question, and and I don't know if I have the the perfect a answer. Uh, you know, when when these when these big companies come in, you know, what do they bring in? Like, you know, they're they're bringing jobs, which is great. You know, I think anytime um, there's more jobs in the in the market, like that's that's a good thing. Uh, of course, it's like okay, well, what kind of threat does it bring to to the smaller guys, right? Um, and, and I think it is a threat if you aren't going to evolve, like you, 
we as small business owners have to innovate. We have to constantly improve. We have to constantly um, be more competitive. I mean, and it not only with the big box stores, but just take take uh, companies like Amazon, for example. You know, like why is somebody going to buy a product from me or my small business in Gainesville versus just buying on Amazon? Um, and and we have to constantly look at that as small business owners and and look at where our competitive advantages are. Um, and you know, I think customer service, for example, is a, a huge piece of that. You know, we, for example, um, when you buy a scooter from us, like you get free pickups and free deliveries on your scooter. You know, if you need to have it, if you need to have it serviced. So if you were to get a run over a nail and get a flat tire, well, then we include the towing charge. Like that's that's a value that we're providing that Amazon or any other big box store wouldn't be able to provide on the same scale that we are. You know what I mean? Um, right. So, well, uh, I say that, but I guess they could always figure out a way. <laughs> uh, but I look at that as in, in my current, you know, in our current state, that's a competitive advantage. Um, you know, customer service, I think, is, you know, at, on a large scale, I think Amazon's, you know, customer service is, is excellent. But a lot of people still like that, you know, seeing seeing somebody face to face and have and building a relationship and and um and that's what you get with small businesses that you don't necessarily get a lot of the times with with big box stores whether it's a retailer or whether it's an e-commerce store you know um is there anything else you want to add on the topic um i don't think so okay well is that pretty good did that help (laughs) so much for your time yeah yeah of course all right well if you you have any Um, others just let me know okay awesome yeah thanks have a good day. You too. Bye-bye. The University of Florida is giving away a Bentelli Scorch, I guess the Athletic Association. So we've been in contact with them. And I guess at tonight's basketball game, they're giving away the scooter. I don't even know, like, in what form or capacity, like, they're doing. We, I've been trying to get as, you know, as much information as I can, but, like, they're super, super busy with, um, you know, a multitude of different things. So... So I completely understand why. Um, but one of the things that they requested was 100 helmets. So they're giving away 100 helmets, which is awesome. You know, like, of course, we've been pushing this helmet initiative and doing everything we can to get more students to wear helmets. And so I'm, it, it just excites me to see the University of Florida getting on board with that and, and giving away helmets at this uh you know, at this game tonight, so that's excellent. And they're giving they're giving away a scooter, and it's one of our scooters, and it's a Bentelli Scorch, which is awesome. So, I'm just really excited about it. Cool. What are we <laughs> trying to do? Um, I'm trying to get into the game. <laughs> yeah. So, hey, yeah. so we're giving away a scooter at the hip hop, and I think the league longer told us that we were allowed to film the recording of the giveaway. Um, so I just don't know where, like, because we're coming in with a recorder because she told us we could. But I know that's like, it's like... Okay, so why don't you wait a little bit? I'll just call a supervisor and they okay. should be able to sort it out okay. for you. But if you can, you can just wait a little sure. time and I'll call them right away. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, um, let me just, I haven't received that information, so let me just make sure, sure. with my admin, I'm sure it's okay, yeah, but let okay. me just call real quick. All right, no problem. As long as you received that. Yeah, no, we, yeah. Yep. Totally, totally clear on that. Okay. I, I, I understand. Um, all right, yeah. Sweet. All right thank you.
and UPD to help us spread the message of scooter safety. Please wear a helmet when you ride your scooter all around Gainesville. So, that was a really long day. This was a really long day. The University of Florida gave away a scooter today here at the game. It was awesome. It's, it's exciting to come. It's exciting to spend time with these guys. This is Mike's first time since the remodel. Yeah, mine too. Do you, do you like it? <laughs> it's like way different, right? Chambers been to more games here than I have. But we are done for today. We're going to watch the last bit of this basketball game last half and then we're gonna go home and do it all again tomorrow. So everybody say bye. Bye! bye. See ya.